Millions and millions of subsistence farmers depend on oil palm cultivation for their economic livelihood. And by increasing production in their farms, we increase their economic opportunities. This patent pending device, we believe can escort in an era of DNA-based molecular precision agriculture. We sequenced the genome of oil palm and then discovered a gene that's really important to the crop. It's a gene that controls the thickness of the shell in the fruit. But not only that, it also controls the thickness of the fleshy fruit that is around the shell that actually contains the edible oil. And the difference between the inheritance of these gene variants controls 30% of the oil yield that a tree can produce. The device is a simple leaf punch that can take a little piece of a leaf of a seedling tree. It has a detachable tag with the same barcode as the barcode that's on the punch. And this allows us to run a DNA test on the leaf and know whether or not a tree is going to be a low yielding tree which can be discarded. We have assembled 110,000 uh, accessions of uh, oil palm gemplasm, both from uh, Africa and also from Central and South America. It took more than 40 years to systematically collect this material and bring it to Malaysia. We can screen this collection for various attributes, not only for breeding purposes and also for uh, genome uh, studies. Once a seedling palm has been field planted, it grows for three to five years before it starts to bear fruit. What we found is that about 12% of the palms that were planted in the ground were the low yielding form. It's estimated that 62 million metric tons of edible oil will be produced by palm trees. And a single percentage increase in yield is worth about one billion US dollars per year. The, the volume of the market is huge. You're talking about tens of millions of plants a year. So for a, 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 a plantation company, it would be in their interest to try and develop their own products. That's the challenge for Orion, is to move really quickly, become a service provider to the big plantation companies um, very, very quickly before they have the capacity to develop their own tests in-house. We see the shell gene test on our sample collection device as a first of many tests that we hope to roll out in this platform. Tests that could be used in other perennial crops. If we can come up with innovative technologies that drive food production in the lands we have, this could really go a long way to preserve the natural forests that still remain.